Okay, I'm ready to create a new Google site. I'm in my Google Docs account here. I'm going to go up to the button that says Sites. And that allow me to get access into my Google Sites. It'll pop up another window, so I need to pull this one down and find the other window. And here it is. I'm going to go to Create New Site. Now I'm, put, I'm, I'm creating a site for myself, so I'm going to name it my own name. And for you, you might name it your short name. I could name it Ruben H. My name is Ruben Hoffman. I could name it Hoffman R or R Hoffman. This might be more appropriate for you as a student for privacy issues. Um, but I'm going to name it Ruben Hoffman, Ruben Paul Hoffman. I'm going to see how that goes. Right here is the URL. Depending on if somebody has your name already, it, it could be um, taken. Um, but that'll we'll find that out in just a minute when you hit Create Site down here. Choose a theme. Let's leave it as the template default for now. You can go back and change your theme later when you have more time. More options. This is a button we want to open. Right here is the plus sign. I'm going to click on that plus sign. What it's going to open up is a chance for me now to create a site that only people in the di Grossmont district can see, only people I specify can view this site, or it's going to let me um, give access to anyone in the world and personally I want to make it public depending on your privacy issues you may only want it to be accessible for, for people in the Grossmont Union High School District um, and your teacher of course I'm going to put on here create site and now I have my new website for Ruben Paul Hoffman and now you can begin creating pages That'll be another screencast.